Well, as a woman in science, Adi Lamar was unusual. Shamefully, she still would be today. Just 13% of science, technology, engineering and maths workers are women. Well, I'm now joined by the tech entrepreneur Pip Wilson and by Dr Bhavagya Bakshi. She's winner of the 2017 WISE Award for Technology and Engineering in Health. Bhavagya, let me start with you. Um, what is it that Hedy Lamar did? What was her great scientific discovery? So, Hedy Lamar recognised that during the World War II with torpedoes, they were very inaccurate at being able to aim where they needed to go. And she recognised the contribution radio signal con signalling could use to actually improve the accuracy in actually beating the opposition. And in the same way, being able to jam and interfere radio signals into preventing um, missiles from coming in. And Pip, this lives on, this technology lives on today via Wi-Fi. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So what she did is was not used um, commercially at the time, but then went on to be used to form the basis of what makes Wi-Fi technology and various other technology used in um, everything, everyday life today. What's amazing is that she came up with this while she was still in her 20s, while she was still a big Hollywood star. Yeah, absolutely, and she, and she was passionate about continuing to make a difference um, with technology, and she campaigned very hard during the Second World War to join the... Um, Inventors Council, but was told no, she was better off to help the war effort by going around and doing stage shows and performing, etc., mm -hmm. because that's the place that they felt that she would fit better. And Pavagia, I mean, she was, she was only really honoured as a scientist long after her death. I mean, she died uh, in 2000, I think, didn't she? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And it was one of those things that she was really motivated to actually. Um, solve a problem and that's what she recognised with um, the radio signals. It wasn't that the case that she had um, a strong foundation in radio signalling or technology or even in arms, yet she set out to solve this problem using this technology innovatively and reaching out to key people to enable her to do that. Now famously she was quite dismissive about Hollywood's obsession with appearance and said she found it all quite boring. She would rather, she found people's brains more beautiful than their looks I think was one of the great quotes that uh, she came up with. How long do you think before we get girls growing up wanting their role models to be scientists rather than movie stars? I think really we need to challenge um, the perception of science, technology and engineering and maths to young women who are making decisions at the young age of 15 and 16 about their career choices going down. Often um, all STEM subjects are quite um, uh, gender specific and we see huge role models who are male and we don't actually see much about what technology can do in enabling change and social impact and purpose, which is what we know that women are really pursuing in their career choices. So rather than the granular granularity that we see with technology, really looking at the application of it that we saw with Hayley Lamar in being able to be critical in the war. Do you go along with that? Is it, I mean, is it the fault of schools and colleges for pushing young women into inappropriate careers too soon? Um, I don't think it's. I don't think the blame can be laid in any one place. I think it takes a massive concerted effort in order to be able to ta change this. I don't think young women today have the right role models to look up to, and too much focus is is still based on appearance, what rather than what people can actually do and how people are using their intellect and. I think it's a combination of that role model, schools making it very clear that everybody has the opportunity to do everything and girls are given the same opportunities as boys and also going forward in, into careers um, and those opportunities are there and I spend a lot of time working with either women wanting to get back to work or uh, investing in kind of women entrepreneurs and again the gap is still there at that level so it has to be approached from all angles. I mean both of you have successfully founded business I think Pip you've just sold one for nearly 70 million dollars I mean do those kind of obstacles still dog you once you're trying to raise funding to to put into business scientific applications that you've come up with? Um, I, unfortunately they still do I mean I, I recently set up a, another business and um, we looked at the whole funding side and what we found is that there's still much more appetite towards men in technology from a funding perspective, more money, it's only about 14% of venture capitalist funding has gone to women in the last few years and that's terrifying figures so it's about addressing it at all areas. You go along with that Bavagia? Yeah, definitely. It's a very male-dominated industry, and as a woman who's come from uh, science going into technology, um, it's literally surrounded by men all the time, and you do have to prove your 
credibility and your capability in this industry, but it is changing and working with organisations like um, the Wise Campaign, which is a fantastic charity, which really pushes the agenda forward in breaking down those barriers and helping pulling women across from every sector in being able to empower them and actually working with um, key organisations to say, how do we improve gender diversity in them? Oh, I've got to leave it there, I'm afraid. Bhavagya Bakshi and Pip Wilson, good to see you both. Thanks for joining Thank me. Thank you.